to Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. I hope everyone had a great Christmas. I was blessed to see another year, and yes, I had a great Christmas. I had to work, unfortunately, but we all have to work to make the world go around. I just want to say, I just finished reading this novella. Wow. I enjoyed this novella so much that I'm going to just go on the record and say that this book is, out of all the Christmas books I read the month of December that we're still in, this one is my favorite. It's the best one I've read, and I've read up probably close to four now, and I am reading currently a Christmas, well, a, it's a holiday story right now. It's my last one before, uh, for the year. Of 2018 because we're so close to 2019. I just want to say this author just knocked me off my feet. I'm going to say why. Because the simple fact is, like I said before, this was a novella. But when I was reading, I, I felt like I wasn't reading a novella. I felt like I was reading a full novel. That's how much well put together this book was and I'm talking about no other than The Night Before by Jacintia Howard. I hope I'm saying your name right. This book right here was so good to me and I'm going to tell you why because like I said before it was a no it's a novella but it didn't read like one. It didn't feel like I was reading a novella. Novella to me, is those books that's 25 pages or less, which I'm not a big fan of novella, but sometimes it helps me when I'm trying to read other stuff in between. It does help. But this book right here was so good. I just want to say, I give it five stars, first of all. Robert's Reading Room re Review approved. And I just want to say the author is here in Atlanta also, too. And I was when I went to research about the author, I was like, oh, she lives here in Atlanta like me. And I'm proud because the author is in Atlanta. I love to see a lot of authors here in Atlanta doing this work like this. Her pen game is, like, sick. I was like, this is my first time reading this author, but it definitely would not be my last I would love to meet her if she's doing an event next year. Please, I, I friended her on Facebook. She would she accept my request also, too. But anyway, into the book, I just want to say this book is so dear to me because I felt the characters. It's like you have Ava, you have Elias, Elias and Ava. Ava is a college graduate. She comes home to spend Christmas with her mother and unfortunately something tragic happened with her mother's boyfriend's daughter. They have to leave town so she's there alone. But before all of that take place, she's with at a party with her friend Allie. And you know, Allie is kind of I'm not going to say loose but she's more forthcoming. And she's trying to hook up with this guy and Ava is more, I'm not going to say smooth and stuck up. She's more into her, her own self. She's coming out of a bad relationship also, too. So, you know, she's not trying to hook up with anyone or anything. And then you have Elias, who's across the room, who's admired her since college. I mean, since high school, I'm sorry. And he's just looking at her, and he's approaching her. He approached her, and... He wants to get to know her more better, but she's hesitant at first, but something happens to bring them together. And all I'm going to say is that she wind up at his parents' house and things, you know, took a turn for the better, and then it took a turn for the worse. I'm not going to tell you the whole book because you need to read and support the author here. 
But I just want to say it was a great read. And the characters that I did like was Janae, too whiny. You know, when a person don't want you, they move on. Just move, get over it. I did like Elias' family, his mother, especially how she just took to Ava and engaged with her and everything. I really love that about the book. I love this book. I love this cover and everything. Just look at this cover. And um, it would definitely not be my last time reading anything by Jacinthia. I look forward to reading more books for her. Hopefully I can meet up and get some paperback. Who knows? I just want to thank everyone who support Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. And my YouTube, that's my YouTube channel. And my Instagram is Robert's Reading Room. My Facebook page, Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. And if you notice and you follow me, I have been doing a, a mini giveaway book. Surprise giveaway. Today was the second day. I got one more to do. And coming soon is my anniversary. It's the first. It'll be two years I've been doing Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. I will be doing a giveaway. Um, I'm not for sure if I'm going to do a whole month like I did last year. But I am going to do at least a week or two. So please stay tuned. I just want to thank you for watching my channel and those who support Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. Hopefully you have a great weekend and a good night. Bye.